Look, before we get into the content, it's really important that you guys hit that subscribe button. We're out here every single day working for y'all, trying to hit y'all with the best content. And what motivates us to keep going is people like you. So hit the subscribe button, join the conversation, join the Deuce Gang. What he said. Let's talk about business. Let's talk about business. More importantly, let's talk about the business of basketball. The business of basketball is something where we realize that that players are very disposable to teams. And, and when players make decisions to to leave teams at, at certain times, sometimes they get praise for it. Sometimes hell rains down on them. One of those players who has been criticized heavily for for leaving a team has been Kevin Durant. And that was when he left the Golden State Warriors. There's been a lot of questions, a lot of questions about why he left, especially when it was after a season, you know, they could have won another title. They could have won maybe three, four more titles with him. Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, you know, as the core. But he decided to leave. And one of the big, 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 big discussions was that there was an argument that went down between him and Draymond Green where Draymond Green supposedly called him a bitch and pretty much told him, listen, bro, we were champions before you before you even got here. We don't need you. I don't know what Kevin Durant did specifically, but that's how Draymond Green, and that was one of the things that was said as one of the catalysts for, for Kevin Durant leaving, because really, why would you want to play with somebody who feels like that about you, right? Uh, obviously, of course. So Bleacher <laughs> Report... And more importantly, a show called Chips has come out on Bleacher Report. And this show apparently is hosted by Draymond Green. Okay. He decided to interview Kevin Durant for his for an interview and, and ask him straight up the real reason. Because Kevin has come on record as saying, you know, that's part of it, but that's not the whole reason. But he's never said the whole reason as to why he actually left the Golden State Warriors, and in this interview, he lets us know the reason. Let's play the video. For my own personal um, sanity, because I've been getting my ass kicked ever since you left, so just for my own personal sanity, how much did our argument against the Clippers drive you to ultimately lead the Warriors? It wasn't the argument, it was the the way that everybody, Steve Kerr act like it didn't happen, Bob Myers and tried to just discipline you and think that that would put the mask over everything. I really felt like that was such a big situation for us as a group. The first time we went through something like that, we had to get that shit all out. I remember watching The Last Dance and when Scotty didn't go into the game, the whole team in the locker room said, Scotty, that was fucked up that you did that. We needed that. We just need to throw all of that shit out on the table and say, yo, Dre, K, like, that was fucked up that we even had to go through that. Let's just wipe our hands with that and go, go finish the task. I don't think we did that and we tried to dance around it. I just didn't like how all of that, just the vibe between all of that, it just made shit weird to me. And I'd rather us be who we say we are, family first. Communication is key. Like, I, we didn't show that. And I, that's what rubbed me the wrong way more than anything. Stop for a sec, stop for a sec. From LA. Bozzies? This is giving me a very uh, Fast and Furious vibes. I just wanted to say that. You're you're insane. <laughs> I sat in a... Both of these guys look like they just woke up. Hazel was sitting in the car for an hour <laughs> and 45 minutes. They pulled me in that room at Signature for an hour and 45 minutes, and they tried to tell me, you need to apologize. And I told them, I'll talk to Kay, but y'all aren't going to tell me what I need to say. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they went on for an hour and 45 minutes talking, saying a bunch of bullshit. And ultimately, they realized, all right, we're not getting through to him. We're going to try again in the morning. And so we met the next morning, and they said, all right, you slept on it. You ready to apologize? And I told them right then and there, I said, y'all about to fuck this up. I said, the only person that can make this right is me and Kay. And there's nothing that y'all can do, and y'all are going to fuck this up. And in my opinion, they fucked it up. I think so, too. And 
They told me right then and there, like, we're going to suspend you for this game. I laughed in their face, literally laughed in their face. And Bob said to me, he said, uh, wow, that was not the reaction I was looking for or expecting. And I said, well, either I'm going to laugh in your face or I'm going to cuss you the fuck out. So you pick, I'm going to choose laugh. So I, wow. I think what you're doing is funny. And so I'm going to laugh. And so it's interesting to hear you say essentially the same thing that I told them that day. You know, All right. wow. it's, it's just, really, wow. well, it's really interesting to see that clip because really it's just uh, reminiscent of the, the Joe Budden podcast and the falling out. I truly believe that if people just had an open conversation, which they claim they did, but a real open conversation and just follow through with what they said they were going to do, that podcast would still be around. Uh, this situation, obviously these guys had some heated words. Buddy ended up leaving the team. Katie ended up leaving the team. But fast forward, aren't these two sitting down like an arm's length from each <laughs> other, looking comfortable as shit? What does that tell you? It tells me that this could have been resolved like, yeah, Draymond looked comfortable as shit, almost like he forgot that he was filming an actual podcast. That's how comfortable he looked in his clothes, like literally just walked up, walked outside and, and came to the show. But this is an interesting conversation because the whole time you don't think about these things. I think what KD wanted more so than than Steve Kerr and uh, Bob to 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 rectify the situation, I think he just wanted his team to kind of sit down and come together as a team and have like a full blown out discussion. Cause what he's making it sound like is like him and Draymond had this argument and then everybody just pretended like it didn't happen. Like his feelings weren't acknowledged. That's what I'm feeling like he's, he's saying right now. Like what was said to me wasn't acknowledged that the fact that it was fucked up or whatever I did that started the argument that wasn't acknowledged that it was, that it was messed up. And you guys are acting like it doesn't, nobody cares. So like, if y'all don't care about me, especially when it's a, a situation that affects the entire team, because you got to have the chemistry. If you don't, if you're not messing with me, then I'm gonna go somewhere else. And you sit back and you, I, I'm talking about, you sit back and you go back in time to, to when KD actually left the Golden State Warriors at the time. And man, if everybody wasn't calling this guy coward and, and all these other things. In fact, when he went from OKC to Golden State, same thing. People were calling him coward and he's disloyal and all of these things. Well, lo and behold, people, sometimes there are things behind the scenes that you may not know about, surprise, that actually when they're explained, this makes sense. This makes sense. Well, look, man, what I, uh, what I do want to say is despite what you people may think, men have feelings. <laughs> 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 and 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 we just want them heard you know you don't have to agree you could disagree sometimes it just requires even five minutes yo let's let me you get five minutes real quick right depending on the the friendship that you have with this person sometimes that's all you need but the point is it's just acknowledge where i'm coming from and we could get past this you know what it's i'm saying crazy. that's what i'm getting from this people in golden state gonna be real mad at steve kerr Right now, knowing that all he had to do was walk up to KD and uh, and Draymond, call him into his office and say, listen, we're going to talk this out. That's all he had to do. And, and KD could have still been on the Warriors right now. That's crazy. <laughs> um, emotions, people. Listen, man, sma Woo! smash that like button. Smash the uh, smash the like button, button like you want to smash Steve Kerr in the face if you're a Golden <laughs> State fan right now. And 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 leave Woo! it in, leave it in the comments. Do you think it was really that easy? I happen, I happen to think so. I think this is probably something that could have been resolved. Like Conte. that, I I believe that. But look, let's 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 keep it on this emotional emotional roller coaster here. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want my meditations. I want to speak to Lizzo. You know who Lizzo is, right? I do. Yeah, I do. Right. So Lizzo has always presented herself as big, proud, beautiful. By the way, side note, she is, but almost to the tune of annoying. You know what I mean? Like she just puts her beautiful self 
everywhere. It's like, all right, right. we get it. You're happy. You can be nice about it, and then you can be twerking at basketball games with no draws on. Or yeah, thongs. yeah. But but the point is, is the confidence that she has just oozes out of every possible orifice. It's just overflowing until Gravy. late. And well, anyways, until late, she did a song with uh, Cardi B called Rumors. Uh, by all accounts, you know, like uh, with her demographic, Lizzo's demographic, Cardi B's demographic, it's a smash. It's a number one. Um, but the response from the record was just hate, hate, absolute hate. People insulting her for being overweight, people throwing racist comments at her. And she broke down like she broke down in tears. She was on. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to celebrate that. But she broke yeah, down yeah. In, in tears and she just couldn't believe it. And to me. I watched it and I'm like, where did all the confidence go? And then she speaks to that. She just said, because I've been working so hard and I kind of get it. When you work so hard, you really think something is going to be a shoot. Like who's going to refute this type type of deal. Right. But right then right. when you get that, those type of comments, like she's saying her defense mechanism was so low because of how hard she was working, which I guess is understandable, but Facebook and Instagram, they've literally made it their mission to delete negative comments about Lizzo. Oh, that's nice. Right. What, what about what about the rest of us, Instagram and Facebook? You know, that's fine. OK, you know, people and listen, I, I, I sympathize with Lizzo. I think that the comments made towards her uncalled for talented, beautiful woman and just unnecessary. If you don't like her content, just just ignore it. You know what I mean? Right. Keep it moving. You don't right. actually have to stop and say something negative. But two two things really quick. It's the internet. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the internet. So although you can just walk by her content and say nothing negative, it's the internet. People want to test that force field that you've been showing us that you have. People want to poke holes in that confidence that you've been telling us that you have. And apparently they were successful in doing so. And the other side to that, what you were mentioning, what about the rest of us? You ever heard of something called cyberbullying? People die behind that shit. Well, also, also, she's a celebrity. So when you're a celebrity, unfortunately, that's the career path that you chose. You wanted to be a big time singer, big time fame, put your put your image out there. And when you do that, unfortunately, you become public property. And when you become public property, the public feels that they can deal with you anyway if they, they want to yeah it's not it's right part of the game yeah it's not right but to your point it's part of it like when we put out this content people can say anything about me they can say anything about you and that's the dice we roll you know right. it, it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it right it makes it absolutely wrong especially when they're making racist remarks about her when they're judging her based on how she looks which i guess falls in line with the racism that is not right but it's the internet and right. my thinking is you can't police it but no 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 facebook instagram says actually we can and again to the point that i was making cyberbullying people kill themselves suicide they kids kill themselves over being bullied online what about that stuff so i mean i guess maybe they're setting one of your favorite words a precedence now if they continue to do these things after lizzo then I'm all for it. But if this is a one and done, like we're just going to do it for Lizzo, that to me is problematic. Well, two things. One, them even attempting to do this for one person, it, either either Lizzo has the greatest uh, Facebook connection ever, like she is uh, Zuckerberg's secret mistress on the side, or or it's one of those things where, because this is something where it's now out in the public, Right. Like if they had done this quietly, nobody would have ever known. But now it's out in the public. Somehow somebody recognized, somebody put it out there. Somebody's publicist messed up or did a great job, right? But now that it's out there in the public, now they got to decide what the next move is. Now they put themselves in a position. So I'm, I'm hoping that this was planned in some way and that there's a play to go along with this somehow because this move is impossible. It's impossible to do with every single user. It's not possible. This is not, you know how you have, you have certain websites that you could have um, keywords yeah. or phrases, right? That could be taken out. 
You know why people can't employ that? And we know this from personal experience. Yeah. <laughs> because there's a, there's, a, there's a certain thing called context, yep. which, which computers fail to recognize. Mm -hmm. Words can be used in various ways, and context determines whether they're used in hateful, demeaning, degrading ways. And whether it's just comedic or supportive or, you know what I'm saying? It could be any other type well, of well, 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 how about this? You're fat. Now, I could be saying you're overweight or I could be saying you're pretty hot and tempting. Right, right. P-H-A-T or F-A-T. Exactly. It, but the word sounds the same when you when you say it, right? So, right. It's context. So, so it's context. Exactly. So, you know, with, with Lizzo, I, 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 um, I, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. Because on the one side, I feel bad for her as a human being. But on the second side, I've already spoken about my opinion about people who, once they reach a size overweight and don't stop, I no longer feel bad for them. I Some people do have diseases where it is very difficult to lose weight. I do understand that. But majority of people just eat. And they get to a size where they realize that they're big. And they're like, oh, my God, I'm getting... And they just continue to eat. It's a disease for some people. It's an addiction for most. And like all diseases and addictions, there's cures and ways to get about it if you really want to. But if you choose not to do those things, or if you are attempting, which Lizzo could be, I don't know, but it doesn't appear that she is because people are saying she's getting bigger, right? That's the issue. Um, I don't know what you expect. I really don't know what you expect. Jessica, Jessica Hudson. Is that is that the name of yeah. the girl? Yeah, right. You know girl. who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. American Idol. Yeah, of course. Lost, lost a bunch of weight. I'm not sure if she did that because of the public. I doubt it. But she probably did it for her health. Um, Missy Elliott. Came out, has lost a bunch of weight. You Tim ask her why? Timbaland. Same thing. You and you ask them all why? Why did they do it for their health? So. You know what I mean? If you're not willing to make the change, just be prepared for what comes with it. That's all I'm saying. Well, and with that being said, um, uh, you know, nobody should bully you into making that change. If you're going to make no. that change, your that decision. change should be your decision, probably primarily based around health. But, but there's public, consequences for not being willing to make the decision. Well, obviously, you don't need right. to. That's what I'm um, getting at. 100%. Uh, viewing public, what are your thoughts on this, man? Again, I all my sympathies go out to Lizzo. No one, in fact, should have to endure that. Um, uh, how, I, I, at the same time, she is a public figure. Unfortunately, the, when she puts content out to the world, we have the right to critique it, you know? So um, also, Facebook, Instagram, the leading comments. Is this a one shot deal? Should they continue to do this? I, share, man. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. Please be <laughs> respectful as well. We don't block comments, but smash the like, smash the subscribe button, and it's the deuce gang. Smash um, it like Lizzo's smashing Zuckerberg to get him to delete the comments. And here's the thing I don't think Lizzo's going to really appreciate that. I think Lizzo's probably going to be hopping in an Uber right now, as soon as she sees this video, and come to your house to address your negative comments. Now, Lizzo's <laughs> rich. So she may not be too concerned, but I'm pretty sure if her Caucasian neighbor and Lizzo were both going to make it down to Toronto to see you about your comments, their Uber screens might look a little something like this. Now, you guys can't really see that, but the one thing that's definitely going to stand out to you is one hand is black, one hand is white. So providing a little bit of context there, these people are in the exact same location obviously, and they're going to the same destination. However, the black Uber user, their rate is a lot higher than the white Uber user. In fact, the cost of the black Uber user's ride is $57.80, <laughs> and the white Uber user's ride is $32.58. This is, by the way, was in Toronto. So this is, uh, you know, the public, this this image has been going around. It's, it's pretty much viral. And they're knocking on Uber's door trying to get an explanation. Why is this black user's ride costing more than the white user's ride? Is it about race? Is it about um, uh, maybe? Because, you know, the, the drivers get rated. So do the customers. So right. is it possible that the customer is a poor customer? And because their rating is so low, they get charged extra to use the service? 
Uber, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? What do you mean, what are my thoughts on this, man? You might as well just go ahead and I'd say what you got to say about this, man. Because in my opinion, I, I am not going to play into what they're trying to attempt to do here. What are they unless, trying to until, do? In, until I can prove that it, that any of this is real. Because okay. two things. One, if this is, the, this is the first time this is ever happening for somebody in Uber, that's incredible. This is somebody's just realizing this now. That's amazing after how long Uber has been uh, in existence. Uber has been able. Wow. Uber, you're fantastic. Uh, second of all, two people in the same location just randomly so happen to want to figure out how much the cost is to go to the same spot and they take a picture of it. And it just so happens that the black person is more than the white person. Just randomly, just coincidentally, two people hanging out on a random day like, let's see what let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Let's take a screenshot. I just with me, you got to prove to me that shit is real. And what it looks like is trying to happen here is like it's a photo that was created to anger people about race and get them talking about Uber and being racist in some way. So I'm not going to play into it. Not me personally, but you can go ahead and, and uh, because you think it's real. So go ahead and play into it, man. I, I didn't say it was real. What I said was it's viral and it's a conversation that people are happy that people are having. Now, if it is real, <laughs> <laughs> if it is real, for one, it doesn't have to be about race. It could literally be that rating system that we were talking about before. There's things called liability, right? You know what I mean? So if you're an artist and you bring a whole bunch of drama with you, well, guess what? They're probably not going to hire you at that venue unless you have X amount of security, which is going to cost you more money. So it could be the exact same thing with the Uber rating system. If you're a problematic passenger, you want to use our service. Well, it's going to cost you a little bit more. Right. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't have to be about race. Additionally, to answer your question about these two people having this bright idea before Uber, when it was just taxis, I would yeah. call Beck. I would call whoever. I just, <laughs> I just remember Beck. I would call multiple taxi to see what the best rate was. I don't see why this is that impossible. I really don't. Right. And also what, what could also be happening too is it could be, hey, let's both take our phones out. Let's both call for the Uber. We're going to the same place, but let's see who gets the ride first. You know what I mean? It could be anything. Anything could have actually happened where they're like, wait, what the fuck? Why is my... Yeah, but then when you once you book it, you know you got you got to pay for it, right? You can you cancel gotta... it. You can cancel it. And there's a isn't there a cancellation fee? I don't know. That I don't know. Okay. But also, also I don't want to take away your pov this could be 100 percent photoshop it's fucking it's it's 2021 let's get viral you know what i mean so right. it could just be that as well uber hasn't responded and there's a lot of there's a i don't want to say a lot where did, where did you where did you find it where did you find this photo this is a, this is, this is uh, on my timeline on twitter on twitter yeah do you remember the account that it came from? Oh no, it's, it did. It said, "Um, what's it say? Cheese? Say yeah. cheese? Yeah, it was like a retweet as well. So say cheese? Yeah. yeah, I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with their page, so I'm not going to comment on on what. Well, they do. I, well, the other thing that you have to keep in mind, just because this Twitter account posted it, doesn't mean they were the originator of the. Maybe I could post it, and then somebody else could screenshot and be like, "Oh." Chris, that that's Chris. No, they could have just. Well, then, well, then they're savages because they just threw their watermark on somebody else's. Yeah, of course. But but what what I'm, what I'm saying is savage. What I'm saying is, uh, Uber. There's been lots of negative stories behind the Uber ride system, and right, Uber right. has traditionally come out and made a statement. There's been no statements, so that might also speak to what you're saying about this just being a troll. You know what I mean? So we have to look at that as well. But, hey, you know, viewing public, what say you? If you're watching this video right now and you're with a friend, a family member, whoever that is of a different race than you, right? whip, whip out that Uber app. Test it with your friends. And by the <laughs> way, if, 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 if it's real, please comment. Please comment. Please. 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 Comment. Yeah, yeah. Comment for sure. Comment for and, sure. And 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 by the way, our email is two guys doing a podcast. <laughs> podcast the number two. I want to see that screenshot. Send that shit over. Leave it in the comments, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy travels. Deuces. Uh -uh. Yo, thanks for watching that video, making it all the way to the end. You made it this far. You have to like, 
please subscribe and comment on the video as well. Join the conversation. Absolutely. We finally hit our goal of 500 subscribers. Yes, yes we are trying to get to a thousand and <laughs> we can only do that with your help. You can start by watching that next video. You see that tiny little icon? Click on that icon, rinse and repeat. Deuces. Deuces.